What is up, you guys? This is Rich with Red Phone Video, and I'm going to talk about this movie, High Tension. I just got this 4K in from Second Sight Films. I had it imported, and uh, this does come with the Blu-ray, too, but this is the 4K. This movie, guys, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's one of my favorite films from the early 2000s. Well, one of my favorite horror films. And I had never seen anything like this movie before. And it's directed by um, Alexandra Aja, who, of course, did, like, the Hills Have Eyes remake. He directed Crawl. He directed uh, Piranha 3D. And uh, he co-wrote uh, an underrated horror film with uh, Wes Bentley called P2. He's had his name on a, on a lot of shit. Like, he, he also co-wrote the, uh, the Maniac remake with Elijah Wood. But, anyway, Hot Tension... I saw this movie when it first came out in the theater, and like I said, I had never seen anything like it. I mean, I had watched, you know, a lot of just grimy shit like this before, like when I was growing up. I, I was no stranger to stuff like this, like extreme cinema. I mean, I grew up with the Faces of Death films. I used to rent them all the time from the video stores. And of course, I'd seen, you know, stuff like Cannibal Holocaust and shit like that, but... This movie, for some reason, it really, it, it bothered me. Like, it disturbed me. I, I saw it in the theaters, and I, I had a panic attack. I, I I did. Like, I mean, I didn't freak I didn't freak out and, like, run the fuck out or anything. But I had a panic attack. I was kind of high. I had gotten high before I went and saw this movie, which was a big mistake. Because the first third of this movie, I mean, the first half of this movie, really all, I mean, this whole movie, it's just intense. Uh, man, this movie, like... It really ushered in that that new French extremity movement in the early 2000s. It was just one of those, uh, you know, transgressive, dirty films that, uh, you know, just reveled in gore, but not like in a stylized way. It was more about realism, you know. I mean, I don't know. This just, I mean, this definitely inspired that that uh, contemporary French horror movement, you know, like films like Them and uh, Frontiers and Inside, Martyrs. You know, if you guys are horror fans, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Because this, this was kind of the first of its kind. And Alexandra Aja, man, he's just a really good director. And he captures the 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 proper tone in this movie. Like, when you watch it, you, you feel like you need to take a goddamn shower when you watch it. Like, it's just, it's grimy. And it has, like, this, uh, this yellow-greenish tinge to it. Like, this patina. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just dirty, but... Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys about what's inside of this uh, this package from um, Second Sight. So before I dig into this thing, I just, you know, for those of you who haven't seen this movie, uh, it's about a couple of best friends from college, and uh, Marie and Alexia, I believe is their name, but the two girls, they, um, they go to Alexia's parents' house out in the country, and uh, then they have to contend with this uh, this killer, this deranged killer who shows up at the farmhouse in the middle of the night. So plot wise, you know, this movie's pretty simple, but it's just the execution of it. That is, it's just brutal. There's so many like gory sequences in this and there's just a lot of memorable set pieces. And, uh, you know, the, the, the scene at the gas station is a highlight and a lot of people don't like the ending to this movie. And I understand, I get it. It's twisty. And, for those who haven't seen it, I'm not going to give it away, but there's just a lot of, of a lot of people who really don't like this ending, but I do. And this is one of my favorite horror films. Like I just I don't think a lot of horror films have been able to capture this the, just the tone that this movie carries. It's just it's really disturbing and like I said it's it's grimy and this is just a, a visceral, you know, unflinching movie and I mean it reached this level of mutilation and brutality that really hadn't been seen on the big screen before and I mean I you know keep in mind before this movie there was movies like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer and just all these proto slashers that were coming out and I don't know I feel like this movie just it had a, a really really serious dark tone and seeing it in the theaters I, I just I don't know it was the first of its kind. I mean, that's all I can say. But anyway, I'm going to get into the um, the the contents here. So, you know, you have basically... Look at that. Awesome. You have uh, the 4K disc. And you have the Blu-ray. Which, this is a Region B disc. Just to let you guys know. But, as we all know, the 4K is region free. So, there's that. And then you also have this book. 
Look at uh, Cecile de France. She's really, really good in this movie. And you have these essays in here. And, I don't know, this movie, I feel like a lot of uh, French extreme horror movies really tried to emulate this style. But, um, I mean, there had been movies, like, I want to say Irreversible was before this. Extreme cinema goes back to, you know, films like Zulowski's Possession. And, you know, then you had, like, stuff from Jean-Luc Godard and... You know, I mean, Euro extreme cinema has definitely been around for a long time. And then, of course, you know, you had the stuff from, like, Pasolini and uh, Michael Haneck, you know. But this, I mean, this movie, I don't know. It just, to me, it kind of changed things because after this movie, you had movies like Saul. You had Hostel. You had Wolf Creek, you know, that came out in, like, what, 06? And this, this one was in 03. So, yeah, I mean, this definitely... I'm not going to go through this whole thing here, but you guys get it. There's uh, a bunch of essays in here, a lot of pictures. And yeah, like I said, this movie's bloody. I mean, it's brutal, gory, and it's just disturbing. And I'm pretty sure, you know, if I watched it now, I'd still find it disturbing. I hadn't seen this movie in like probably 10 years, but uh, I'm going to show you these, uh, these lobby cards here. So you get... Uh, Cecile de France there. Cecile, Cecily. I think it's Cecily de France. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'm butchering her, her name, but uh, then you have the killer. You got uh, My Win, May Win. I think that's the actress's name. Nice red, blood drenched shot there. And then, of course, that one. So, yeah. Those are the cards. Now, getting into the special... Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, getting into the special features on this. Uh, you know, it looks like you have uh, a new audio commentary from Lindsay Hallam. She's, uh, she directed a, this interesting documentary called Friday at the Heidi. So, I'm interested in checking out her commentary. And uh, an experiment in suspense, a new interview with Alexandra Aja, The Man in the Shadows, new interview with writer Gregory Lavasseur, and The Darker the Better, an interview with the cinematographer. And uh, you guys can see, there's uh, an interview with the, the effects artist, and uh, uh, okay, and then there's Only the Brave, uh, Alexandra Heller Nicholas on High Tension. She, she's, um, she's an author. She's written a lot of books on cult cinema, mostly like exploitation and horror stuff that focuses on, uh, gender politics. So that should be interesting. And then you have like art, some archival stuff here, archival interviews. So yeah, uh, I do have this Blu-ray still of high tension. Now there's some old special features on here. As you can see, you get, you know, commentary and, uh, it looks like some of these features aren't on the new on the new disc. I'm not sure, but I'm noticing here there's like uh, the original French track, you know, the French 7.1 DTS HD Master Audio track. I don't know. I know that's a lossless audio track, and I'm not sure it's if it's available on this new release. I'm not I'm not sure. It looks like um, it might not be. I think it's just 5.1 on here, but you know, no big deal. But yeah, this Blu-ray came out. I mean, you might want to hang on to this Blu-ray if you have it, because I'm pretty sure this thing has some bells and whistles on it that this release doesn't, you know, doesn't have. So I don't know, you guys, if you have the Blu-ray of High Tension, this thing. I want to say, like I said, it came out in 2010, and um, I mean, it's it's a good release, and it's really grainy. I mean, this movie. Honestly, is not something that I would think you'd want to see, like, with the highest resolution. But I'm sure the 4K is impressive. But this is just a grainy movie. I mean, it just reminds me of 70s films, you know. And, I mean, I grew up on 70s and 80s horror. 80s horror was fun, but I'm definitely a bigger fan of, like, 70s films. The 70s, you know, grindhouse, exploitation films. High tension, man. It's just, it's it's an awesome one. So, if you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. 
I think that's all that you get here, um, which is fine. This is a pretty pretty stacked release. It's not like really thick, like we're used to getting like you know real thick boxes with a uh, second sight. I'm not complaining though. I mean, this is about the same size box you would get with like Arrow, an Arrow release. So you know this this does. Uh, I'm interested to check out the 4K because I have no idea how it's going to look. But anyway, that is it, guys. I don't know what else I can say about uh, high tension, but. I mean, I would say pick it up. I don't know if it's still available on on uh, Second Sight, but it, it does seem like it was a pretty limited run, and there may have been only a few hundred copies. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything about it being limited, but you know, most of their releases are. So get your hands on high tension, guys. But anyway, that's uh, that's it. That's about all I can say, guys. This is just. Um, this, this is just one of those movies. I mean, like I said, I saw it in the theater and it gave me a fucking panic attack back in the day. So this is a horror movie that definitely delivers and does its job, you know, so get on it. Um, there's uh, that scene where the, well, I'm not going to talk about it. You guys know, if you've seen the movie, just think the severed head scene and you guys will know what I'm talking about. You'll be able to picture it just from me saying severed head. But anyway... That is it, guys. You've been listening to Rich with Red Phone Video, and tell me what you think of High Tension. If uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, did you like the ending? Because, I mean, I love the ending. Like I said, I just, I don't know. I, I, some people say it's kind of derivative of other films, and that, uh, you know, it kind of cheats the, the viewer a little bit, but I disagree. I like it, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else I can say. But that is it, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. And if you like this kind of thing, be sure to stab the like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like. And I will catch you guys next time.